This week on the National Shooting Sports Foundation's Shooting Sportscast, we have a special tip provided to us from Brownells from their newly released DVD, Jerry Michalik, Practical Rifle. Here's champion shooter Jerry Michalik with some advice that I know will improve your shooting. Now let's talk about how to grip the rifle. There again, you're shooting offhand. You're going to use this 95% of all positions in the field, so very important. What I try to do on my support hand, you notice when I'm holding the rifle up in a firing position, if I was to take my support hand away, I would only have my grip hand here on the, on the pistol grip to hold the rifle up. And this is pretty much the muscle tension that I expect out of my right hand. Another key feature here is this wrist is locked just like I'm firing a pistol. You notice from the center line of the board to the bottom of that grip, it's probably six or seven inches. And if you let that grip loose and just merely pull back with it, you're going to get a lot of oscillations on that scope. This is where all the, the driving of the rifle comes from. This really actually holds it to the shoulder. This actually drives the rifle. I'm not really pulling with it much. And what happens when you find that you use your left hand or your off hand a lot to control the recoil of the rifle, you get these very, very much un uncontrollable patterns on a target. And with your off hand, your support hand, what I try to do is just put enough pressure on the rifle to keep it from shaking. With my support hand here, I'm going to grab it out as far as possible. If I was to make this into a fence post like this and tell you to, uh, to brace it to the ground, you wouldn't put your brace close to the bottom. You'd put it as far as you can. We're kind of limited on that by the distance of the handguard. So in that respect, I want my support hand as far out as possible. What you're looking for is a technique that's going to allow you to repeat your performance on command. Very important. So with a mount like this, I'm pulling in just enough to support it. It's pretty steady. My wrist is locked. It's a good position. Another thing you'll notice is what, are, what am I doing with the elbows here? You notice the elbows are pretty much 180 degrees from one another. That's just a good bracing effect. The big deal here is with this arm flat to the horizon, when I transition, I can stay parallel to the horizon instead of coming into a target in a rainbow effect. So it takes some of the transition effort out and it makes for a very consistent presentation to the target. The whole idea about a proper grip on the rifle is when you're shooting at rapid fire, the sight, is, the sight be it a scope or a metallic front sight, comes right into the center of mass of the target that you're engaging. If it's not, you're not holding it correct. Elbow is probably going to be out of position or how much tension you have on your strong hand versus your support hand. When all these come together and you fire a shot, it should, re it should recover right back in the exact center of the target. If it's not, don't accept it. Change something. Change your elbow, change your grip technique. Try to feel for what it takes to make that performance happen. And if you have a good performance, don't just take the rifle and set it down. Actually diagnose how you're standing, what your grip feels like, where your elbows are. That's when you can start to repeat what you're actually doing on the range. You want to address this grip just like you would a pistol. You want to lock your wrist in. The main reason for that is this hand is way under the center line of the bore. So it influences the top end of the rifle a lot. A good way to calibrate your strong hand for hold on the rifle is to take your support hand away and then hold the rifle up with your strong hand. This gives you a good muscle tension reading of how much you actually need to pull in with your strong hand. So the more you can lock this, the better the scope is going to look in between shots. If you look at my left hand here, you notice it's under the gun. So what that means to the user is when I'm coming into a target really fast, I'll have a tendency for the rifle top to get heavy and it's going to swing forward and aft. Not a good thing. You notice I'm too much under the gun. So with my left hand, I would like to bring it up. You notice the elbows are pretty much 180 degrees from one another. That's just a good bracing effect. The elbow parallel to the ground, this really makes for a good transition from left to right and right to left. Keeps the muzzle parallel to the ground. A great tip from a great shooter. If you're interested, you can order the complete series of these practical rifle shooting tips from brownells.com. So go out to the range and try this tip this weekend. And if you're looking for a range near you, visit our website, wheretoshoot.org.